Hey, look what I'm going to have. Filet mignon steak sandwich. My friend John Sisko got me this big piece of meat. Isn't that nice of him? You heard me talk about him before. This is 3.6 pounds of filet mignon. Young. I'm going to cut it about an inch and a half thick. I'm going to sear it on this new wave induction cooktop with a cast iron grill attachment. I'm going to throw some mushrooms on there. Let me spray it first a little bit and then I'll throw the mushrooms on while I'm getting ready. I don't know if I have to spray it, but I sprayed it. Mushrooms on the side. I'm just going to cut two pieces of this right now because I'm not that hungry. Okay, come here while I cut this up. Look at that. How big you want your filet mignon, like that? Mm. That's about almost two inches. How's a look? Oh, looks good to me. <laughs> and I got some for leftovers. That's enough for another meal there, right? I'm gonna make something else with that. Put it right on, right? Look at this. All right, let me check the time. I'm gonna go six minutes on one side. A little salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna go five minutes on the second side. Okay? Nice rolls. I got bigger rolls if I need them, but I think that might be good. Oh, if I didn't mention, this is going to be a blue cheese filet mignon steak sandwich. Mmm. Well, you can make yours however you like. Got a couple minutes left till I turn them babies. Let me move them mushrooms around a little bit. Just move them around. Oh, boy. It's going to be so good. Give it a quarter turn. Fancy schmancy. It's gonna be good, huh? I like it. Mmm. Here we go. Whoa, you like that? Mmm. Come over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five more minutes. Yeah, they didn't shrink like I thought they might, so I got some bigger rolls here. I'm going to replace them with that. How's that? Is that bigger? That's better, huh? Look it. I think that's going to make a better steak sandwich for me. Fresh from the bakery. From the butcher, from the baker. Like it like that? I do. Turn them get some more marks on here. Mmm. Woo! I know you'd eat it right now. It's good right now. We'll take that internal temperature for a second here. I believe 120 is rare. Oh, it's so tender. Look at that. Eighty, ninety-seven, one hundred seven, one twelve, one sixteen, one hundred five. It's all over the place. Hang on, a couple more minutes. 136, 130, 140, let me cancel this right now, if I figure out how, alright, whoa, oh, yeah, whoa, yeah, beautiful, I'm going to let these rest a little bit, but I want to put some blue cheese on there. 
get that started. I know this don't melt like regular cheese, but it's gonna get in there. What do you think? Mmm. Just sit there for two minutes. Oh, good luck. I'm gonna move these over to my cutting board. Let them rest. Oh. So good. Don't forget the mushrooms. See how that blue cheese melted in there? Mm. Two minutes, two minutes. All right, I can't wait any longer. I'm going to add some steak sauce on the bottom of my roll. Look, this fits nice on this steak. Look at that. The shape the same. Same way, and it's bigger. That one's going to be mine. Put some steak sauce on the bottom. If you want. Mmm. Put my mushrooms on that. Remember? Oh. <laughs> on there and top over some blue cheese dressing chunky blue cheese dressing not too much hmm I could melt mozzarella or whatever kind of cheese you like on there you could, but look at this. It's gonna be tender. Filet mignon blue cheese steak sandwich. Thank you, John Cisco. You want one? Should I take a bite? Hmm. Oh yeah. All right, stand back, everybody. Put my eating clothes on. Time to eat. <clears throat> I need to get a good, good leaning area here. I'm gonna have to pick it up with two hands. <laughs> Holy cow! It's so tender. Ooh. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> Play me now. Blue cheese stick sandwich. All oh, the mushrooms. Melt in your mouth meat. I should be sitting down for this. I'm sorry, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Fresh roll. Mm. Just like you like it. All right, hang on. Mm. Oh. Who wants that one? I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's so delicious. Thanks again, John. And thanks everybody for watching. If you got a nice friend like John, maybe he'll stop by and drop you off a piece of meat. <laughs> you can make this too. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna finish it. I'll talk to you soon, all right? It's messy, I'm sorry. I love it though. I'll see you. Bye. Hmm.